China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. We have mortgaged our foreign policy. Everyone's out there going, oh my God, how in God's name? You know, the Chinese came here and they, the president didn't get anything. Guess what? They own us. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, they're competition for us. And I know him well and he knows me well. I've known Xi Jinping for a long time. I probably spent more time with Xi Jinping, I'm told, than any world leader has. He's a bright and really tough guy. Very, very straightforward. He's very bright. He's very tough. But he's a smart, smart guy. But he's a smart guy. We had a two-hour conversation for two hours. It's not about punishing them for the COVID virus. I made it real so clear. So if you scrap he those said, tariffs, what do you want in return? Or are you just going to scrap them without, without any concessions? The way Trump, the way China will respond is when we gather the rest of the world that in fact invades in, in, free, in, in, in open trade and making sure that we're in a position that the world, uh, that, that we deal with WHO the right way. He's doing in Hong Kong, what he's doing with the Uyghurs in Western mountains of, of uh, China and Taiwan trying to end the one China policy by making it forceful. I, I said, and by the way, he said, he, he gets it. Culturally, there are different norms at each country and they their leaders are expected to follow I came away impressed with the president's candor determination and his capacity we want to see china rise president obama and i we welcome encourage and see nothing but positive benefits flowing from direct investment in the united states from chinese businesses and chinese uh, uh, chinese entities